Miko here. Today I got tagged to do the New Year's resolution tag. I got tagged by Kimmy Toxic, so thank you so much for tagging me. Um, it's just a few questions and I'm going to give you guys my answers. The first question is, looking back, name three things that you did last year that you're proud of. The first thing I'm proud of is having Christmas at my house this year. I usually don't have Christmas with my brother and my sister at my house. Usually we go somewhere else. Um, so yeah, I'm really proud that I had it at my house. And I cooked, I put everything together. Um, I got to see my nephews that I hadn't seen in a while. And got to just hug my brother and my sister, which I haven't done in a while. So I'm very glad that I did that. That's something that I'm proud that I called them to come over and to do. Um, the second thing I'm proud of is that I fought for my disability benefits. I applied when I first got diagnosed with Crohn's disease and was denied. I applied again, was denied. So finally I got a lawyer and it took a long time, over a year, to get approved. But finally I did, so I'm really glad that I stuck in there and got approved. And then the last thing I'm proud of is that I've gotten better at making my polymer clay charms. Um, a long time ago I made some Christmas ornaments for the tree and we got them out this year and they are the worst things <laughs> ever. They look like a three or four year old made them which is really bad. So I'm glad that I practiced more last year and I really got into it so I'm much much better. The next question is name one thing you wish you would have done differently. Um, I wish I would have changed doctors earlier than what I did. My stomach doctor, my gastroenterologist, ended up dropping me last year for no reason, like right before Christmas. But I'm kind of glad in a ways because he wasn't very good at communicating. He's the type that, you know, he would never call with results. You'd have to call him and bug him and he was always too busy, of course. You would have to wait for like 30 minutes or an hour to see him and he would only see you for maybe five minutes and that was it. And I had to travel two hours away to see him every time I went. So I was going out of my way, which I shouldn't have been if, if he couldn't meet me halfway. So I just wish I would have changed doctors earlier. And the next question is, what was your biggest highlight last year? Definitely promoting for a lot of different companies. The first company that I got to promote for makeup products was Dark Heart Designs and I want to thank them, especially Tina, for accepting me and for allowing me to be part of their team. I made a lot of new friends there. I also got to promote for Motives Cosmetics with Ronica. She is very sweet. She's a great leader, great motivator, and a good friend. I also got to promote for Corpse Cosmetic, which is Kimmy Toxic's brand. Um, very awesome products. In love with the glitter. I've always loved their glitter. And of course, she's just very nice to work with. And also, she put together Seven Deadly Beauties, which I was also a part of for a really long time. Made lots of new friends. And I got to promote for Polish Your Hooves, which is from Leanne. And I love her nail polishes. She has the most gorgeous polishes. And I think I have a video on some of her polishes too if you guys want to check it out. But yeah, I really love all of these ladies. I thank them for letting me promote for them. Unfortunately, I made the decision myself to stop promoting this year for everybody. Just because um, my illness has kind of taken a toll on me this year. So I just want to relax this year and kind of take a break from promoting. Still do looks with their products, but not actually promote. And the next was, what was your favorite beauty product last year? Mine definitely had to be the Motives Liquid Mineral Powder Foundation. This stuff is very good. I have it on right now. I put it on this morning. I haven't had to touch it up. I have acne and dark spots, things like that. And it just covers so well and it doesn't feel cakey very very light and it's good for your skin so I really love that. Um, what was your least favorite beauty product last year is the next question. Had to definitely be the Volumizing Mascara by Revlon. Horrible horrible mascara. I bought it, brought it home, 
tried it, the brush was super huge, too big, it would get mascara everywhere. Um, the consistency was very thick and clumpy and I just hated it. I chunked it as soon as I tried it, didn't like it. The next question is, who do you want to thank for being amazing uh, last year? Definitely has to be my YouTube and Facebook followers. All of you guys are super amazing. I thank you all for sticking with me. I thank you for being patient, for giving me suggestions, for being my friend. Um, lots of prayers, lots of well wishes. So thank you, thank you so much for your support. It means more to me than you guys know. The next question is, what are the makeup beauty resolutions you have for this year? Um, try to get my acne under control a little bit more. To drink more water, that's always good. And also to do more darker looks. I've always liked like the more gothic type looks, so I really want to do stuff like that. Like the look I did today is pink and black. So kind of a clash between bright and dark. Just more bold looks. That's what I want to do. The next question, what are the fashion resolutions that you have for this year? I want to have a more darker wardrobe, like more steampunkish type, um, gothic type, I guess, emo type, whatever you want to call it. I really like to do stuff like that, dress more with uh, gamer clothes. I'm kind of a nerd for that stuff, so <laughs> that's what I want to do. Um, I want to have longer hair. I ordered some extensions the other day to make my hair fuller and longer, which I will do a video on that also. And I plan on, on getting more piercings. I want to get my cheeks pierced, my dimples. And also to, for, to gauge my ears, I've already started, but I want to make them bigger. The next question is, what are your personal resolutions for this year? One, not to worry so much, because I'm a big worrier. If things don't go my way, I freak out. Um, <laughs> to be more social. I don't go out very much, kind of because of my illness. But I really want to try to make more friends and be more social, more talkative. To be more spontaneous and just have fun, like not worry about anything. I want to do that a little bit more. Name one thing that you want to check off your bucket list this year is the last question. One thing that I think is doable this year on my bucket list is uh, go to a cosplay event dressed up. I've been to an event before, but I wasn't dressed up, but I really want to go to one just like decked out from head to toe um, as either an anime character, comic book character, video game character, just someone that I like. I really want to do that. I think it's very cool. Um, I would love to dress up. I want to do that more. Uh, you know, we usually have local ones here. So I think it's doable for this year. <laughs> and that's all the questions for this tag. Um, I want to tag some other ladies. I want to tag Princess Makeup, Plus Size Beauty TV, Makeup with a Difference, and also Makeup for 40 Plus. And any of you who would like to do this tag, please feel free to do it. You can message me either on here or on Facebook when you post your video. I would love to watch it and see your responses. Also, don't forget, if you're not following me on Facebook, I'll leave the link down below. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye.